Okay, so to make your own wedding sign, any kind of sign you like, all you need is a piece of wood that's been stained or painted and sanded so it's really smooth. A template, I weeded this out and made it on my Cricut, but you can make it on a silhouette or you can buy one or kind of try and make your own. Some transfer paper, a paintbrush and or a sponge depending on what you want to use and I've got some opaque white paint but again you can use any colour you want depending on the colours of your wedding. Okay so to get started you need to place your sign on the wood just to figure out where you need it to go. Then you need to get your transfer paper, make sure it's cut to the exact same size as the template and then stick it on. I didn't do that particularly neatly so I just need to get a card, just using like a store card to press all of the bubbles out, make sure it's as flat as possible. Try and put it on a bit neater than I just did. Just so it's completely stuck down. And then you need to peel the back off, so peel the white bit off. Make sure all the middles of the letters are still attached to the transfer paper. If any do come off though, just save them and then you can stick them on afterwards. It's not a problem. And there you go. So then you can place it where you want to pop it. You can be a bit more precise than me and measure it out. And kind of put some masking tape just as a guide where you want to stick it. It's good. So again, get your card, make sure it's completely pushed down, getting rid of any air bubbles. Once it's all pressed down, then you can take your transfer paper off. Again, just make sure it's all completely stuck down and that you don't lose any of the middles of the letters. Okay, so now we're ready to paint. Just using my paintbrush, but you can use a sponge or a sponge brush as well. And I'm just going to start by doing really kind of light strokes. Okay, so that's the first coat done. I'm going to leave this for a little bit. When you're painting, just be sure not to go over any of the edges. You don't want little random white marks here, there and everywhere. Okay, so I've left this for about an hour and I'm just going to do the second coat. I'm switching to my sponge this time, um, just to do a bit of a thicker coat on the top. Okay, so I've left the second coat to dry for about an hour as well just so that it's dried a little bit but not too dry you can't let it dry completely otherwise it peels the paint off when you take this, the stencil off and then I'm going to just peel it off super slowly and really carefully around the edges of each letter so it doesn't spill over um, and I pull it down from the corner like that and there it's done so I just took the middles of the letters out with a pin and some tweezers so as not to smudge it and then if you've got any other little bits that need filling in where you've took the paint off just go around with a tiny brush but otherwise that's done. You can put any kind of message you want on the sign, you can do it bigger, much smaller. Just remember to do two coats, try and be as neat as possible and take off the vinyl really slowly when you do it. Thanks for watching, please subscribe for more tutorials like this one.